Welcome, one and all, to the Security Breach Show Hunger Games. Yes, yes, it is quite the turnout as we have all the selections from the districts. Twelve districts, two people each. Which district shall be victorious? Let me describe the districts so we all know what's going on, since maybe not everybody knows what the districts stand for. District 1, which is luxury items. That is Gregory and Roxanne Wolf. In District 2, we have Masonry and Defense, which is Monty and Foxy. District 3, which uh, makes General Electronics, so it's fitting that Sun and Moon are coming out to fight for their place, I guess, I don't know. District 4, Fishing, which has Jacko Moon and Puppet. Why those two? Because we thought it would be funny. It's funny. District 5, Powered Electricity, which holds the Creator and Trash Can Man. We don't like them. District 6, which is transportation, has Glamrock Freddy and Circus Baby. Because we didn't know where else to put them. Yeah, that's true. And District 7, which is lumber, holds the best, I think, is Lunar and Earth. Yes. Yay. Ah! District 8, which holds textiles, is Funtime Foxy and Glamrock Chica. Yep. District 9, which is Grain, is Castor and Pollux. Because they wanted to. Because I feel like they'd be good at it. And yes. District 10, which is Livestock, fittingly enough, is Blood Moon 1 and 2. Yeah. Hooray. I don't like them. District 11, no. Agriculture, which is Vegeta and Frank. Yeah. I hope I spelled Vegeta right. I, I guessed. Sure, we'll go with it. Okay. And District 12, Coal Mining is Eclipse and Ruin. Yes. Now, we shall proceed past the reaping into the game. Into the, the Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. Your favor. Proceed. All right, it's the bloodbath. The tribes stand on their poniums. The horn sounds. The creator runs away from the cornucopia. Lunar receives a trident from inside the cornucopia. Blood Moon 1 runs away from the cornucopia. Blood Moon 2 Blood Moon attacks. 2 attacks Eclipse, but Pollux protects him, killing Blood Moon Blood 2. Blood Moon 2 is already down, everybody. Gregory what? The runs. first fatality is a Blood Moon? Praise be! Gregory runs away with a lighter and some rope. Trash Can Man grabs a shovel. Foxy and Puppet fight for a bag. Puppet gives up and retreats. Roxanne, Wolf, Glamrock, Freddy, Circus Baby, and Ruin share everything they gathered before running. Looks like those guys are working together, which it is a good uh, so. technique. Ironic that Glamrock, Freddy, and Roxanne Wolf working together due to all their relationship problems. That is, well, I guess in a life or death situation, you make do. But next is Glamrock Chica, who runs away from the cornucopia. Jacko Moon also runs from the cornucopia. Frank finds a backpack full of camping equipment, which is a really good find considering they're in the woods or Correct. in some outdoor area. Caster also runs from the cornucopia. Wow, I, I would expect them to be together, you know, her, him and Pollux, but, you know, that's fair. Yeah. Monty runs away from the cornucopia. As does Moon. And Vegeta retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia while I take a handful of throwing knives. I have throwing knives. Correct. <laughs> Sun runs from the cornucopia. And so does Funtime Foxy. Lots of running today. Yep, let's see what happens next. Only right. one fatality. It's it's only day one. Creator overhears Glam Rock Chica and Trash Can Man talking in the distance. I wonder what they're talking about. I don't know. I, I don't know if they're working together. Anyway, Pollux receives clean water from I an mean, unknown sponsor. They are a trash can man. Chica might be trying to eat his head. That's true. Good point. Uh Pollux receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Yes. Beneficial. That's very beneficial. Ruin steals from Frank. Why would you steal from Frank? How dare you, Ruin. Rude. 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 Moon camouflages himself in the bushes. Good luck doing that, blue man. Are you having a PETA moment? Huh? You, have you seen the Hunger Games where PETA, like, turns into rocks? Oh, I don't yeah. know how he did that, but he did. Foxy constructs a shack. Good job, Foxy. That's why you're a part of masonry and uh, defense. That's true. That's true. Caster practices his archery. I didn't know that he 
knew how to do archery, but Did, I guess that's th- fair. I thought that'd be a Sagittarius thing, but okay. Puppet injures herself. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, I asked everybody before I did the uh, thing. Placements. Placements. And I picked their pronouns that they wanted. Also, if it wasn't obvious, I'm being extra flamboyant today because we're being the announcers. We're being announcers. I feel like that's clear now, but, you know, um, we're having fun. Okay. Yes. Circus Baby makes a slingshot. Monty discovers a river. Fun time Foxy tends to glam rock Freddy's wounds. How did he get Vegeta, wounds? Vegeta, Roxanne, Wolf, and Son hunt for other attributes. That's messed up. Hey, it's messed up that you're chasing me. I'm chasing you passively as a friend. As a friend in a murder game. That's so fun. Oh, no! Jacko Moon attacks Gregory, but Blood Moon 1 protects him, killing Jacko Moon. The second fatality. Second fatality, but then it's immediately followed by Eclipse picking flowers. Correct. Why, though? Very cute, though. not canon. Well, no, endear yourself to the audience in the Hunger Games, so that way they send money to you. True, true, true. Yeah. Next, it Next. is the Fallen Tributes. This is the end of the day. Two Blood months Moon off. 2 and Jacko Moon. District 10 and 4 are both down one tribe member. Let's add the, the cannon noises editor along with a uh, moment of silence. You know, ba 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 da, ba 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 da. And now we proceed. Next. It's the night one. Vegeta just receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Circus Baby convinces Roxanne Wolf to snuggle with her. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Pollux, Lunar, Caster, and Trash Can Man tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. That I see that with, like, you three. I don't see the Trash Can Man being a part of that. I've never interacted with the Trash Can Man. That's true. Foxy sets up camp for the night. Well, you already have a shack. You're pretty good. Yes. Eclipse lets Blood Moon into his shelter. Bad decision. That's a bad idea. Frank is Frank unable, is to, start unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. That's so sad. Ruin questions her sanity. Oh, I messed up. I, I forgot to do that one. I'm sorry. I messed up that one. I didn't ask. We'll I just fix kinda... it for the next round. Yeah, well, the next round will be fixed. Anyway, creator shoots an arrow at Sun, but misses and kills Glamrock Freddy instead. Oh, ironic that the creator would shoot Sun. Yeah, that is actually ironic. But also, Monty bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Goodbye, Montgomery Gator. That's so sad, but it's okay. Everything's okay. Everything will work out. Okay. Fun time walks, he tends to his wounds. Puppet tends to Glamrock Chica's wounds. Mmm. Moon defeats Gregory in a fight, but spares his life. Wait, why were you two fighting? What's going on? Moon dislikes children. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. I didn't think from that, that degree, but Earth passes out from exhaustion. I guess I'm just running around scared, which is fair. I, I am scared. Fair enough. Day two. Caster practices his archery. And Blood Moon begs for Roxanne Wolf to kill him. She refuses, keeping Blood Moon alive. You should have killed him. Yeah, you should have. Puppet scares Earth off. Why? Well, everybody's not friends here. Pollux pushes Glamrock Chica off of a cliff during a knife fight. Good God, Pollux. Jeez, that's pretty brutal, Pollux. Ruin, Foxy, Circus Baby, and Lunar hunt for other tributes. Trash Can Man... Well, actually, before I move on from that, that's a really weird group of people to just go and hunt for other tributes. But we're just going to move on. Correct. Trash Can Man sprains his ankle running away from Moon. Sun collects okay. fruit from a tree. Creator receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Nobody likes the creator. Boo! Oh my god. Frank bashes Vegeta's head against a rock several times. They I'm are sure. from the same district. district. Anyway, Vegeta's probably dead from that um yes fun time foxy diverts gregory's attention and runs away eclipse has been on his own a lot of this and he has discovered a cave that is canonical okay here's the fallens the fallen of day two glamrock freddy montgomery gator glamrock chica and vegeta let me see everybody's status real quick after we have a moment of silence here da, ba, ba, da. Bum, bum, ba, da. Poo, 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 poo. everyone's status we have everybody from District 1 alive. Only one out of two for District 2. District 3 still Creator, kicking. Blood Moon 1, and Frank all have a kill. Pollux has two kills. Yeah, wow. That's a lot of... Jeez, okay. Pollux has the most kills on this list right now. <laughs> She's brutal. <laughs> Continuing. It's night two. Eclipse cries himself to sleep. Oh no, that's so sad. <laughs> oh... And Trash Can Man is awoken by nightmares. Caster receives a, a clean water from an unknown sponsor, and I die from hunger. That's Dear unfair. Dear God. And also, Creator receives medical supplies. Why is he getting more stuff? And Ruin stabs, stabs the Lunar while his back is turned. 
That's so brutal. And then District Gregory, Seven eliminated. We're completely out of the game now. Gregory cooks his food before putting his fire out. Puppet thinks about winning. So does Fun Time Foxy with cooking his food and putting the fire out. Roxanne Wolf strangles Moon with a rope. Dear God. Blood Moon 1 forces Circus Baby to kill Pollux or Foxy. She refuses, so Blood Moon 1 kills her instead. Okay, well, we got Pollux still in the game, and that really feels like something Blood Moon would do. Correct. Oh, these... Okay, Frank thinks about home, and this one's totally canon. Sun questions his sanity. Yes, that is extremely canon. <laughs> That's canon to everything. Okay, continuing. Roxanne Wolf scares the crater off. Frank discovers a river, and Puppet runs away from Foxy. And Eclipse sees smoke rising in the distance, but smartly decides not to investigate. Fun time, yep. Foxy hunts for the tributes. Trash can man camouflages himself in the bushes. Pollux cracks flute from a tree. Sun discovers a river. Ru Ruin begs Ruin for Caster to, to, to kill her. He refuses, keeping Ruin alive. Gregory diverts Blood Moon 1's attention and runs away. Here is the, the people who died. The fallen District 7 deceased. Da, 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 Moon da, da, da. and Circus Baby. District da, 6 da, da, da. also eliminated. Yeah, let's see everybody's status again. Yep, District 6 and District 7 are out. Back to the fallen tributes. We're continuing on. Trash Can Whoa. Man, Roxanne Wolf, Puppet, and Son track down and kill Funtime Foxy. Why? That is that district eliminated. Blood Moon 1 and Caster sleep in shifts. Frank ruined Frank Gregory. Frank ruined Gregory and Foxy sleep in shifts. And so does the creator, Pollux and Eclipse. They're all working together now. Everyone's That's such got their an odd groups. trio. That is everything here is odd. Foxy searches for a water source. Oh my god. Trash Can Man and Ruin and Gregory start fighting, but Ruin runs away as Trash Can Man kills Gregory. Pollux, Eclipse, Frank, and Roxanne raid Caster's camp while he is hunting. Somebody gave a Blood Moon a hatchet, which doesn't seem like a good idea, but it happened. Unless you're explicitly wanting death. Yep, Puppet and Crater hunt for other tributes, and Sun tries to spear fish with a trident, which is a good idea. You know, you need to eat to win. I learned that the hard way. Here are the two fallen of today. District 8 eliminated. And District 1 is almost eliminated. Let's proceed. Trash Can Man, Frank, Caster, and Blood Moon tell each other ghost stories. Everybody, nobody's dying. Nobody's here. dead. Yeah, so everybody's alive. They're sleeping in shifts, and Roxanne got medical supplies. Mmm, that's good. Needed. Let's see. Frank receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Ruin dies from an infection. The man that killed me could not survive. Yeah, and Pollux attacks Puppet, but she manages to escape. Foxy stalks Eclipse. Roxanne receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Trash Can Man cam camouflages himself in the bushes. Raider poisons Caster's drink, but mistakes it for his own and dies. That is not canon. The, ca the creator is sadly too smart for that, but it is funny nonetheless. Sun makes a slingshot, and Blood Moon also camouflages himself in the bushes. Ruin and the creator, both dead. Bum, ba, ba, da. Poom, poom. Ba, 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 da. And <clears throat> let's see. Everybody we have through. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten remaining. And only one winner. Who is it going to be? We Next proceed. Sun five. lets Blood Moon into his shelter. Not a great idea. Not canon. Caster goes to sleep. Frank passes out from exhaustion. Eclipse attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Foxy and Roxanne Wolf track down and kill Pollux, which is fair. She is the biggest threat in the game. That is fair. They have the most kill count. Puppet goes to sleep. Trash Can Man receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Dear God. It's, yeah, that's not great. Trash Can Man decides not to go to the forest. Yes, this Frank is the feast. Frank ambushes Roxanne Wolf and kills her. District Let me explain what the feast is. Let me explain what the feast is. The feast is the cornucopia. It's been re replenished. That's the thing that we got in the right. first. So it's got food, supplies, weapons, and like little memoirs from the Tributes family. So like, we're all dead, but basically we would have just said like, if, you know, like Simon would have gotten like something from his cats, I guess, like a little ball of yarn or something, you know? I don't know. That's sad. Something like that. So yeah, Trash Can Man decides not to go. Frank ambushes Roxanne and kills her. That's the end to dis uh, District 1. Sun gathers as much food into a bag as he can before fleeing. Puppet decides not to go as well as Caster. And Eclipse and Blood Moon get into a fight over raw meat, but Blood Moon 1 gives up and runs away, and Foxy fro falls into a frozen lake and drowns, so well, that's two people dead already. Day 6, Eclipse goes hunting, Trash Can Man thinks about home, and Sun, Puppet, Blood Moon 1, Caster, and Frank hunt for other tributes. They're just hunting for the other two? I guess. Oh, there's monkey mutts and that's in the air arena. Those are like, um, like genetically modified creatures that are just in to 
kill as many uh, tributes as they can. While running, Blood Moon 1 falls over and grabs Puppet on the way down. The monkey mutts kill them both. Sun uses Eclipse as a shield. So basically, Eclipse is dead. Frank survives. Yep. Creator, Caster uses Trash Can Man as a shield, so. So it is Frank, Sun, and uh, Caster. Yeah, this is a lot of people. Seven people died. It's a large amount. Da, Seven da, da. cannon shots are fired. Da, 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 da. Let's see the status, everybody, so far. Sun is carrying for District 3 right now. Who has the most kills? I think um, nobody has the most. Or Oh, no, Roxanne Wolf has the most kills. So yes, she was a big threat. Um, now correct. we continue. We proceed. Sun lets Caster into his shelter, and Frank accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Well, then. Well, you try to be clever, Frank, and look where it got you. Dead, because I also don't know how to arm a landmine, so I guess I would do the same thing. Sun cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. Oh, dear God. Jeez, oh, my God. I I uh, I understand though. Goodness. So the winner is of Caster. the Security Breach Hunger Games. The first annual Security Breach Hunger Games is Caster, is Caster from District Nine. Also, I'd like to point out we uh, did forget uh, two Freddies. Yeah, we did. Oh well. Oh well. We're gonna do it again. Do if you want to see us do this again in the future with different people, let us know in the comment section down below. Yeah. Why don't you also give us who you would have for each district? You know. Yes. Uh, that'll help out. So if you want to see repeats and everything, that's gonna be really cool. Correct. Proceed. There we go. Placements. Last place, Blood Moon Two. We placed in the lower half. Seventeenth and eighteenth place. Sun got second place though. That is true. So good for him. Anyway. <laughs> Summary. This is basically everybody that dies, you know. Statistics. Yeah, the these are the most. Uh, yeah, we lost. <laughs> we, we got last. Yeah, we place lost pretty as hard. a district. Should we simulate again, or do you want to just end it for today? I think that's good for today. Okay. Well, let us know in the comments if you want to see this again, guys. This was yes, really fun. Yes, please do. And really messed this up. This was quite fun. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop doing the theatrical uh, voice. If you liked today's episode of the Lunar Earth Show, let us know in the comment section down below. We'd be greatly appreciated. But until next time, we've been Lunar and Earth, obviously. And yeah. we'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Bye -bye. everybody.